Question 4. So this is the compound V. And V reacts with excess lithium aluminum hydride to form W. So lithium aluminum hydride can reduce carbonyl compound and carboxyl. So means the carboxylic acid, the COOH here, will reduce, will be reduced. Okay, so first, uh, it uh, involves the removal of oxygen, remove oxygen from this aldehyde. And this aldehyde will further reduce the O. Here will add one hydrogen. Okay, this pi bonds break. And here we'll add another hydrogen, add two hydrogen, then eventually it will form this compound, this alcohol. Right. So this alcohol. And of course the CH will not show now, right? Okay, so means this part you no need to show in the answer. What you need to show is just the, uh, the OH and the double bond and the carbon skeleton. So we have one, one, two, three, four carbon only. So we just uh, start to do with this. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Right, four carbon, put a double bond. After that, you just put another bonding, OH. Right, uh, this is how you draw the structure. Uh, so that's why this is W. Huh? Identify the role of the lithium aluminum uh, hydride. Uh, so of course, it's a reducing agent. Okay, so the V reacts to form Z in a single reaction. This, this one, uh, the carboxylic acid, no change. So it's this part that change. So it's from diol. Uh, from diol, we know that uh, it must involve a coal dilute chemical form. So it can uh, uh, break the pi bonds and form the diol. Right, suggest the reagent and conditions needed to form Z from the from V. So it's coal dilute must put acidified must put. Without acid, chemical four cannot function. Every time when you use the uh, chemical four as oxidizing agent, you must put acidified. Okay, deduce the empirical formula of Z. So first you have to count here uh, the carbon number four carbon number. 1, 2, 3, 4. Hydrogen is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it's 8 hydrogen. Oxygen is for 1, 2, 3, 4. Right. So C4H8O4. And precur, so is a CH2O. Okay, complete the table for show the numbers of sp2 and sp3 hybridized carbon uh, so this one is quite easy uh, this is the v um, when there is a cc double bond or carbonyl uh, carbon so the carbon in the cc double bond and the carbonyl group they must be sp2 hybridized the Carbon with uh, four sigma bond like this CH2 with another two alkyl group. This one is sp3 carbon. So from this structure, we know that the sp2 carbon, okay, there are one, two, three. So three sp2 carbon, and it just only one sp3 carbon. Okay, part C. So Q okay, uh, it has C H O only. It is saturate, saturated uh, molecule with no branch in its carbon skeleton, no branch. And it has one functional group only. And the molar mass is 88. So this is the characteristic 
no effervescence seen when carbonate added. So we know that no carboxylic acid. Only carboxylic acid will react with this carbon, uh, this sodium carbonate. Carboxylic acid. So no effervescence seen when sodium added. Uh, so we know that it must have alcohol, OH. Q reacts with alkaline iodine equals to form yellow precipitate. This is the iodoform test. So it's telling you, okay, when it's formed yellow precipitate, it's telling you it has this group. Okay, CHOH CH3. Again, uh, CHOH CH3. The alcohol must have this group. Okay, when this alcohol reacts with alkaline iodine from yellow precipitate is telling you this alcohol must have this group. Okay, so now from all this info, we know that it must has one OH, one OH, because I already told you there is OH. So means we use the molar mass 88, we can deduce the carbon and hydrogen's number easily. 88 minus 16, we get 72. So the maximum carbon number that it could be is 5. So 5 times 12 is 60, yeah? 60. So means the remaining is 12, so it's 12 hydrogen. So we know that the molecular formula is C5H12O and this one is the alcohol so it's C5H11OH okay this one okay we use it to deduce a structure here so we start with this part since we know the alcohol must have this part so here already two carbons and no branch, no branch in the carbon skeleton. So we just put another three here, one, two, three. Okay, next to this carbon, one, two, three. And we just put CH3, CH2, CH2. Yeah, that's the structure of the alcohol. So this one is the alcohol, Q. If you want to draw the, uh, the skeleton, so you just draw like this. So CH3, CH2, CH2, CHOH, CH3. This is the Q. That's all for this question 4. Thank you.